Here's that 65432 ladder. You need two watches. Uh, you're going to do a 600, a 500, a 400, a 300, and a 200. Um, in other words, a downward ladder. So it's crossing from Special Endurance 2 to Special Endurance 1. Anytime you cross over these different training modalities, that's considered an advanced workout. Ladders are generally an advanced form of a workout. Older, more experienced kids, higher training age, they respond better to ladders. Younger runners, my novice group and my emerging group, I never put them through ladders just because they, they're, they haven't quite figured it out yet. Um, you can do what you want, but that's kind of the theory on ladders is, is really valuable for um, your most experienced people, less valuable for your rookies. Um, so they're going to run 600, then they're going to jog 600. Now, it's not an all-out 600 because their jog is 600, and they've got to know that. Um, so it's 600, jog 600. Hard 500, jog 500. Hard 400, jog 400. Hard 300, jog 300. Hard 200, jog 200. Then give them the same rest that you gave them in March. Um, I recommend um, somewhere in the three to five minute range. Um, um, you know, you pick the number. Um, but whatever you did in March, you want to do here because you're actually comparing the two workouts. So if you gave three minutes in, in March, do three minutes here in May. If you did five minutes in March, then do five minutes here. Just, just always keep it the same. Um, so you end up with a total of 4,000 meters of fast running and then 4,000 meters of jog. So that's 8,000 meters. It's about a five mile endeavor here. Um, try to compare not only their, you know, their first 600 in May here with their first 600 in March, their first 500 here with their first 500 in March and so on. Try to compare all, but also you know, start to finish. What's the elapsed watch say? And you'll be surprised how much faster the total elapsed time uh, will be in May here than it was in March. Minutes faster. Even though they're doing the same running. And here's the reason. And that's really important that that, that little break between uh, the two sets because you go six five four three two rest, then six five four three two again. Um, if if you keep that variable as a constant as far as the rest goes, you'll find that May is much faster because yes, their repeats are faster, but you know what's really faster? Their jogs. Their jogs in between are much faster, so you end up with minutes. Um, um, faster on the last workout and you'll find that their uh, repeat times are also faster.